Hey guys. Um, so I ended up with a comment on my vlog that I had done earlier and it really got me thinking and um, it, it, the comment was actually a, an inspiration to me. I want to thank you, Troy. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, brother. Um, so I am going to read my short story and um, I'm going to start reading the short story maybe every day or like every few days. It's according to how often I write one. But um, so I'm going to read this one to you. Originally, I had written this back in 2014, and um, but I had done it on a computer on a social site as a blog. So I rewrote it tonight, and this is my story. So here it is. Dreamline Stories. That's going to be the name of my um, series, Dreamline Stories. The Rare and Precious Gem One day there was a woman walking on the beach. Lately she hadn't been happy with the way her life had been going. She was very sad. Suddenly she came upon a treasure chest. She looked to see if anyone was around and saw no one. So she knelt down in front of it. Just as she started to open it, someone spoke. She jumped up real fast and saw a man standing there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be snooping. Is this your chest? The woman asked. I am sorry for startling you, and yes it is. My chest. In it is many jewels, and you may pick out any one, and it will be yours. Mind you, you can have any one, but only one is just for you. You will know when you find it the man said. So the lady knelt back down and opened the chest. She could not believe her eyes when she did. Diamonds, rubies, amethyst, jades, you name it, it was there. Every one of them sparkled and caught her eye, but none of them took her fancy. So carefully she started looking and digging. None of them actually satisfied her until... She got to the bottom of the chest. She grabbed a gem and pulled it out. And when she did, she just knew. She held it up for the man to see, and he nodded. He said, This gem is very rare and very precious to me. See how it is scuffed up and chipped? This gem has been abused and thrown around because nobody wanted it. I have been... I have been gently working on it to cause its true beauty to show. I want you to help. How? she asked. By working with me to buff it. You see, there are some really hard areas on it that I am having to chip away, and I need you to buff it with love as I chip away those rough areas. It was a lot worse when I started on it, and it has come a long way. What happens if I help you? It will love you, care for you, provide for you, cherish you, and protect you. In return, you will be able to trust it and lean on it and love it. Now go, be happy. So the woman took the gem and left. She helped the man work on it and buffed it with love. She did become happy and in time she never looked back again. And the gem... Well, it did everything the man said, and so much more. Now, there's a, a very special story about this story. I had been married previously, and um, my relationship with my first husband was not very um, good. Uh, circumstances, it just it wasn't good. So... Um, I ended up meeting my now present husband on a weight loss site and um, 
I didn't know him or anything, but me and him got close and started to fall in love. And one night, the Holy Ghost gave me this story. And it is true to the T. I hadn't been happy with where my marriage was going. Hadn't been happy at all. And um, what started out as a simple friendship with my now husband ended up turning into a very wonderful relationship and love. And um, he was rejected and abused growing up. Uh, in his childhood and as an adult, he, he was abused and thrown around like he was a nothing. And it got to the point that nobody would ever have anything to do with him. He ended up being a very uh, lone man, stayed single. He had never been married prior or anything. And um, for me, well, um, I've been working on him, helping him get over his past and loving him and proving to him that I'm not going to abuse him or throw him away or neglect him or anything, that he's precious to me. And of course, he's precious to God. He, he's, a, he's a child of God and... Um, of course, we all know that we're precious to God. And um, after going through many bouts, uh, considering about going back to my ex and everything and um, missing my children, because I've, I've got three children and one granddaughter, and uh, they chose to stay with their dad in Kentucky. Uh, but for me... Um, so missing my children and wanting to get back with my ex-husband and try to make it work and everything. And there was many times that I attempted to leave my now husband, who, uh, well, at the time we wasn't married the first time I went back to Kentucky, and then I came back to him and married him. and after a few months divorced him and went back to Kentucky and tried to make a go with my ex-husband and but um I I couldn't and me and my husband my ex you know we, we've got a better relationship as friends than we ever did as husband and wife and um I I couldn't let my now husband go I, I just I had to come back so I did and he is everything that I wrote in this short story he he loves me he he cherishes me he protects me he provides for me the best he can he's there for me and um yeah, there's a lot of rough edges on him, a whole lot of rough edges on him. He, he's he got trust issues and everything, but slowly with me and God both working on him, God chipping away at the rough areas and, and me buffing him with love and, and together me and God, we're, we're working on him. And it takes a lot of patience to work on somebody who's got issues like that. It's very hard because sometimes you just you want to shake it loose and say, look, it's not that way now. But unfortunately, only God can take care of that. And so, um, yeah, this story, it, it, it's got so much meaning to it because he is. He's not like a diamond or a ruby or an amethyst or anything like that. He He's not something that you would find in a ring or or a bracelet or a necklace. He is something that is rare and precious. 
He's got a gentle heart. He cries on movies, folks. I mean, he's precious. So I hope you enjoyed my story that the Holy Ghost gave me a few years back. And um, I'll be reading more of my short stories. So far, I've got two other short stories that I'll read to you in time. So um, Now, the other short stories are completely fictional. There's no background story to them. They're just something I created. So, until the next Dreamline story, talk to you.